It's two o'clock on Wednesday, June 14th, 2023. I hope everybody is having a nice and respectful flag day today. Uh, this is the meeting of the Public Art Committee. We are at City Hall in the second floor media room. Uh, Megan, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Toth? Present. Ms. Christopoulos? Present. Mr. Jones? Here. Mr. Stackhouse? Here. Ms. Arbatello? Present. Ms. McGrath? Here. Ms. Wood? Here. Chair Jennings? Here. Uh, we have no guests today. Uh, I trust you all had a chance to review the minutes from the May 10th meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if so, can I get a motion to accept? A motion. Okay. Viva. Can I get a second? Second. second. Okay. Okay. Is there any discussion about the minutes? Any comments, corrections? Okay, hearing none, all in favor of accepting the minutes is submitted, say aye. 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 Unanimous. Okay, old business, current project updates. Um, in your packet, um, there is a follow-up of Stephen Oliver about the Black Heritage Project. Um, he included some um, uh, illustrations of the, um, of, the, of the actual physical work as it's um, progressing. Okay. Um, okay, you could see the sort of uh, crawl or corral-like structure that is being planned for the uh, Union Academy neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's included um, the arch, which is now going to be uh, located down at the marina, and uh, he's also included a kiosk-type figure that uh, I believe is he would like to put on the corner of the Tourist Information Center where the dolphin is now to draw people to the location of the, uh, of the marina location. Does anybody have any questions, comments? Yes. Yes, Graham. The additional piece. Um, there's a number of questions that I have about it, like um, is it free? Are we expected to pay additional funds for it? Um, what are its dimensions? Um, where does he think he's going to put it? Um, you know, all those kind of things. All those little trivial facts? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any answers for that? Or? I do not. Huh. So, um, but uh, oddly enough, <coughs> I seem to have very similar questions. Um, okay. Uh, there are two um, flags at the base of that kiosk. I assuming one is the Bahamas, and of course the other one's Greek Greece. Yeah. So. Um, and I don't know whether it's appropriate to say welcome to Tarpon Springs. Yeah, I should probably say like the sponge docks or something or nothing. Either that or what the sculpture is. Yeah. Yes. Rather than, yeah. you know, welcome to Tarpon Springs. I mean, it's not a gateway sign. Yeah. Um, I mean, the photo at the top seems irrelevant to the sponge if he's trying to, you know, tie it to the... Right. I mean, I'm well, I mean, if, if you work, but I'm just saying. No, no, know. no. If you if you look, you could see um, under more translucent. It's the it's the entire photograph of a hooker oh, holding. Oh, I didn't notice that. Thank you, Joan. You're welcome. <laughs> so, I was like, it's just a portrait of somebody. That doesn't make any sense. But now, I well, get it. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully, now it makes more sense. Yep. Okay. But mm -hmm. you know, the I think the lettering on the bottom. Uh, forward, upward, and onward together. Maybe that should be, you know, raised up and in the same uh, scale typeface as he's got the Welcome to Tarpon Springs. Yeah. Well, I could... I could look. I could almost see this, what he's done here, uh, have it say, Welcome to the Sponge Docks, if it were sitting... Um, where the trolley stop sign is Bingo. right there is where I thought it would be a, a, a great place 
for that, and welcome to the sponge docks. Mm-hmm. And all. Um, right. That was that the original place next to the trolley stop or something? If I remember right. Well, yeah. the The thing is that when as this. As far as the cost, I mean, I was just wondering if he's figured it into. Uh, see, I, I don't, I'm not familiar with the contract or the thing. Maybe he's. Uh, it's covered under you know the the same. Uh, cost of the contract that he's able to do it, you know, the right. cost of materials. Well, you, you bring up a very good point. There is a contract. So I, I think what we have to do is find out from Stephen if this is going to be just included as part of the whole project, or is there going to be an extra charge? Hi, Katie. Hello. Uh, Ms. Katie Taylor has just ent entered the room for the record. <coughs> um, May I again? Oh, sure. Yeah. Right. Uh, what, what really concerns me about it is, um, <clears throat> you know, apart from the uh, total surprise and all the rest of it and the questions that we had, that we've all got, is um, this is not approved by the BOC. Um, the location right. of it has to be approved by the, the, the um, uh, city manager and the public works and the BOC. I mean, this has got absolutely nothing um, in, in the way of approvals. Mm -hmm. It's not approved by us. It's not approved by anybody else's per location. Right. There's um, been extensive discussion about it, but you're absolutely right. There hasn't yeah. been any approvals. Right. Because I've been very confused about the location as well. I mean, I was surprised to hear that it had been, because I thought it had been allocated there where the docks are. Yeah. That it was going to be there. So that's no longer on the table. Well, there are two, there are two phases, Sonia. I think you came into this late. Yeah. Mm. It's going to be the, the crawl, which is... The, you know, the, the corral. That's going to be in front of the Union Academy neighborhood on MLK. Okay. And then the second part of this project yes. is going to be at the northern end of the marina, uh, the city marina okay. parking lot. Okay. Okay. So the thing is, right now, uh, there was concern about, you know, directing people to the location. So... We had, or Stephen had discussed putting up some sort of informational <coughs> kiosk to indicate to people, you know, where the, 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 the project is going to be located. So this was his suggestion, but it was surprise. Yeah, because no. I, I mean, I, at one point, it, the, I thought this whole thing was going to be a smaller footprint. I mean, uh, sorry, I, I just... No, no, no. The, the thing is that um, there was a lot of confusion about this because there was a lot of speculation that, you know, it should be put elsewhere on the docks, um, but there were concerns about uh, pedestrian traffic, creating bottlenecks. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah, it's not like the sponge diver statue where people look at it, take a selfie with it, and move along. Mm -hmm. It's the type of thing that needs well, to be looked at. Yeah. So to put it in the middle of a high traffic area is a really bad idea. Yeah. So, um, so the thing is that, um, you know, uh, it, it still needs some kind of indicator, you know, at, at the Tourist Information Center directing people to it. But, you know, this is... As I said, you know, I had no idea that this was coming. I have no idea. I don't think anybody else does. Diane, do you have any? No. He okay. Just, that's what he sent us his update, and to my knowledge, he hasn't asked for any more money. But right. You know. So. Um, well, I hope he hasn't ordered materials for it, and you know, and, and spent money on doing that. He said he was spending money on doing some part of the the printing okay. process, right. the the, the adhesion, resin, the resin yeah. stuff. And, and I hope he hasn't gone ahead with this because, as we said, there is no approval right. for it. And you know, and you know, uh, so I mean, it's you know, the location has to be determined and approved. Mm -hmm. The cost has to be determined and approved, if any. The dimensions have to be provided. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, the thing is that it's got to go. Um, you know, the logical place to put it is where that acrylic dolphin is now. So that's going to have to be repositioned or, 
you know, uh, somehow moved. So there's this it asks more questions than it answers. Yes. I think one more thing is it should, <coughs> instead of saying welcome to Tarpon Springs, it should say Black Heritage Project. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. Or, or I the, was just going to say that this yeah. gives me no indication yeah. that there's something else to look at. Yeah. yeah without any context, this is not um, is <clears throat> not going to take. It's not going to. I mean, I think what it, he thinks it's going to provide. If, some, so. if something like this were to happen, um, there should be a, you know, maybe some sort of panel on it describing the project and. Where they, it is. It, this one's here and this one's over there. It because really this, be seeing this makes both no indication it. to me that there's something else to go look at. Right, right. Um, a plaque that would go along next to it. Or, no, stuff, as incorporated, it could be incorporated as part of the thing. Is, you know, maybe it's directing a, you. Yeah, right, and maybe a, a, an explanation yeah. of the project. I mean, or I thought something. it was so cool that if it said, you know, welcome to the Sponge Dogs. Yeah. It would be cool, it is, but uh, it should know, be. It depends where it is. There should be something that, that indicates. The next, oh, yeah, why? That yeah. it's sending me that, somewhere else. Yeah, that there's more to see. Step further and indicate pe yeah. people that the corral is where it is. Right. Yes. So connect that up. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, right. Yeah, right. That's use this kiosk as a, as his uh, informational connector. Right. Right. With a map right. or something like that. I'm right. The QR sure code, could, whatever it is. To do that. I mean, he's yeah. got yeah. the facilities to do that. And the uh, well, and the, and the imagery. I mean, this whole this whole aesthetic of this thing is about information. Right. So so I see. Uh, uh, it, it's really important, I think, that that we have. Uh, um, a connection between the two here. I mean, that's something that I, I heard him say when he first presented this to yes. us. That, right. that he was really, yeah, he he was really uh, attracted to the idea of it being in two different locations, and uh, he wanted the connector. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Well, I I think it would probably be a good idea, because a lot of you came into this well before. I mean, or, or well after this thing was already rolling along. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it might not be a bad idea if maybe Diane could email out the original call to artists. This is about five, five pages long. Mm -hmm. And I think it details a lot of the very concepts we're talking about here, about having this synergy between the two locations, mm -hmm. you know, why there are two locations, you know, uh, the rationale for putting things where they are. And, um, you know, it's... Uh, it was always meant to be, you know, like all of the submissions we had were all all this duality, mm -hmm. you know, of, of sure. doing the, you know, and in fact there were actual photographs <laughs> that Diane and I did of, of the two locations, mm -hmm. you know, by the tourist information booth on the docks and, you know, in front of the CAP Center mm -hmm. in the Union Academy neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this stuff was kind of spelled out in the original call to artists, which Many of you, I guess, had never seen? No. Anybody I've never saw seen it? it? No. Yeah. no. Yeah, I've I seen did. it. Yeah. I saw it. Right. So, yeah. <clears throat> so I think that might answer a lot of, you know, uh, the purpose of why this is the way it is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, yeah. further to um, what Robert just said, um, I, too, recall um, Stephen's presentation to the committee um, where he was um, very excited about having the two pieces linked to each other and mm -hmm. directing the um, the people looking at them to the other piece, right. um, which I do not see at the moment right. in, in these images. Um, that may be because I'm only looking at one side right. because it's a two-dimensional image. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone ever they have a... Oh my I just said it could be that it's yeah. on the other side. Right. Well, the, um, I mean, I'm not opposed to their, if, you know, it would have to go through all of the approval. I'm not opposed to there being a little sort of, you know, marker, you know, to, but I just don't think this does that job. Right. Well, see, you know, in terms of the wording, I think what I would do in the first place, get rid of welcome to Tarpon Springs. I think we all think that's inappropriate. Yeah. And you know, uh, maybe move that forward, upward, and onward together. Move that up higher at the same scale of the lettering of you know the font size as the you know as the Welcome to Tarpon Springs, and then maybe underneath it put the Black Heritage Project. But also, there needs to be something that indicates that the, 
you know. Right, if, so there's if, another piece. If this Absolutely. is supposed to guide me to go to the to look at the other one, mm -hmm. right. there has to be something uh, there. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we can ask you. <laughs> You're going to be Steven on the spot. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Now, if you have, well, if, yeah, let me have the. Okay. Uh, Steven? Come yeah. here, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We were wondering about this. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah, uh, if you might remember the notes from the last, um, uh, when I looked at the site, I was trying to, well, the whole point of that is visibility, right? So, and of course, the content. When the sculpture was up front, had those hands, the African hand, you know, like the, you know, so that was going to give you a message even though it wasn't like written. Mm -hmm. So in order to try to, um, so if I, you know, to, to, to compensate for that, given the distance of the, the major sculpture, um, I moved in that direction. But it also, it's, a, it's also right in front of the visitor center, so the whole idea of the welcome component. Um, so that's kind of the reason it went that way. It turns out that person, that image, actually was a city employee for many years. I don't know if you recognize him or not, but um, who was a sponger as well. So um, mm -hmm. that's kind of why that went in that direction. And the reason was to try to get something that was going to be visible enough, but also not make you think it was the sculpture. <laughs> you know? Okay. Well, the, let me tell you what you've missed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I feel like Lafayette and Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Okay. What have I missed? Okay. Um, you kind of answered where the location was going to be. It's kind of where that uh, the dolphin. acrylic dolphin yep. is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there a cost? Um, the this particular materials for this particular part added. A, it's added just around probably three thousand dollars, basically. Okay. Between the acrylic panel and the stainless steel and okay. stuff, not including design or anything like that, you know. Um, so that'll have yeah. to be a separate proposal. Um, if you want to treat it that way, you could. Oh, do we it. have yeah, to. Yeah, it's okay. not whether okay. we want to okay. or not. Okay. All right. Um, the dimensions. Uh, the dimensions are um, with the pedestal. It's about that site height of that dolphin. It's about six foot to six to seven feet tall, tall with the with the the ba concrete base underneath it. Okay. Yeah. And, and uh, it's about three and a half feet wide. Um, it's a stainless steel structure behind it. Would also would also be attached to the rail at two points. So. Okay. Yeah, and it's not going little... anywhere. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So there's no seconds. There's no backside. Uh, the idea. Well, this material is somewhat trans, a little bit translucent. Mm -hmm. So what you'll see, and you'll see the same thing if you're able to peer through. Uh, on the Union Academy, you'll see a little bit of the a ghosting, which is which is fine, acceptable to me. Sure. Um, but what I was thinking on the back side of this was actually on that railing in between, actually putting maybe like another panel information could be mounted right to the rail, right? So that, in other words, that the behind that frames something with more information about the sculpture. So if you're coming out, you're going in, you're coming out, you can actually see more. Sure. That was okay. my thought. The the other thing, too, is um, we have to get, this is going to be a separate proposal, and it's, we're going to have to go through the approvals process again. Because mm. okay. this is out of the scope of the original proposal. Okay. So, um, you know, and there was discussion about the wording. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't feel the welcome to Tarpon Springs is appropriate there. Okay. You know, it's not a wayfinder sign. Okay. It's a, it's a, um, Mm -hmm. You know, it's part of the uh, Black Heritage Project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, and it would need, you know, possibly a map directing, you know, telling people about the mm -hmm. crawl and where it is. Okay. It might involve another panel. Okay. But it definitely has to have, you know, some kind of link between the well, two that, pieces. Well, that actually could be that, that, that rear side, information side, that could actually be more... There would be a good place framed for that, mm -hmm. you know, to put additional information. Right. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's go down the line. Nick, do you have any <clears throat> comment? Um, I really like it. It catches my eye, and all. And uh, both pieces, your, you know, your, your yeah. main piece down at the dock too. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it uh, 
you know, when I see art, uh, when I do something, I see it from a distance, you know, mm -hmm. and it definitely, uh, it makes me happy when I see it from a distance, mm -hmm. you know, it's something, and it's interesting, and it makes me want to come closer and, and mm -hmm. see what, what it is. So, I mean, I think that's really cool. And, you know, I, I, I do like your uh, informational, the shape, you know, the way it, the way it is, it's mm -hmm. really cool. And, uh, you know, as far as what's the wording on there, you know, of course, can be adjusted. Yeah. And I should and add, if you're when you're all set, I'll add a little something because you just reminded me of something just to help clarify that all the, the whole thing kind of that shape is actually derived from that opening. So it's almost like the thing that's filling the void kind of thing. So it's meant to get you to relate. And then the you'll see these two kind of aqua kind of color. Those actually represent the two panels which face each other, which have to do with diving and hooking. So there's all these kind of things, and I basically felt like a person needed to be there in order to make it like, mm -hmm. we know what, we have some idea what this is about. I didn't want to so know. That's kind of why. It turned out he was a city employee, which is kind of cool. Right. He was, I think he was thanked for many years of service and everything, so okay. that could be noted in the information. Oh, I mean, I think it's a yeah. nice piece, and I'd have no trouble, you know, if go through whatever procedures, you know, to a submit you know to to do mm -hmm. this because I, I think it ties in nicely and you know it, it catches my eye in a, in a in a good way I mean but I'm, I'm happy to I'm, work just on the text subjective you, you know yeah. but the, you know, those are my feelings on it uh, well okay Biba yeah so maybe that panel in the back is what my concern is that we were talking about uh, before you walked in was that um, if this piece is supposed to take me to the other one mm-hmm I don't see anything on here that tells me that there's something somewhere else to mm -hmm. go. I mean, mm -hmm. conceptually, I like that we know that there's something back there right. that you're trying yeah. to lead mm -hmm. us to, but someone walking up on it doesn't mm -hmm. know that. And I guess this didn't tell me that, you know, there's more. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, if maybe that back panel that you're talking about, somewhere there could be something connecting the fact that mm -hmm. this is an introduction to what's yeah. back there. Um then it would make it, you know, more useful as a, you know, right. no, as a it's tool. Good feedback, yeah. You mm -hmm. know, because I don't, I don't see anything mm -hmm. on there. I could see in this as a piece of, okay, nice, you know, and keep going, mm -hmm. with no indication that I'm supposed to go, you know, mm -hmm. see the other one. Um, now, of course, on a larger scale, that photograph, you know, would be more evident because at first I didn't see the underlying thing and I was like what's the portrait of this person uh, but now I get it yeah. Joan pointed it out to me and I'm like oh okay <laughs> now I see it good for something right <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll notice that, that, that he's framed in that like kind of keystone shape yeah, yeah, yeah. that's to relate to that sculpture too but I think so, on yeah. a large scale but yeah but you're right more like, the almost didactically it, there needs to be a more direct connection right. as well as the uh, artistically right, right. Yeah. and you know you know we said maybe welcome to the sponge docs instead or you know that can be tossed around what else you know what else to say there but um i think you definitely need something mm -hmm. on the back and you know maybe this is your point of you know all of that information your qr codes or whatever you know that leads you to the whole project mm -hmm. you know just the thought like you know something that you know this is the point where you know okay I'm, it's going to tell me about the other the one you know a union mm -hmm. academy it's going to tell me about yeah. the one behind the building so that there's a reason why this is mm -hmm. your introductory you know yeah. piece let's makes say so sense. that's all i mean yeah. that was my makes total sense okay mm -hmm. graham mm -hmm. yeah um <clears throat> i just emphasize what beaver said um you know the, the exactly the same but in spades um yeah it's uh I like it in, in, in concept. I think I'm, I'm very much in favor of it. Um, and dimensionally, I think it's great. The things that concern me as um, a committee member are, you mentioned um, about $3,000 worth of material. Mm -hmm. In my experience, um, artists, engineers, um, everybody who's involved in anything that's mm -hmm. even remotely like this, um, it's never just the cost of the materials. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I know, yeah. I... So um, before I say mm -hmm. yes, absolutely, then, mm -hmm. you know, I'd like to see the full proposal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So. Yep, that's mm -hmm. fair enough, yeah. Mm -hmm. Robert? Um, Stephen, uh, I, since you, you just mentioned, and it took me a little while to see it, but uh, the, uh, the, this, 
sort of sign kiosk is the negative space of the the two mm -hmm. pieces yep. that you have mm -hmm. there, and you have you have the 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 sponger photograph full scale sponger. I like that connection to mm -hmm. the to the to the sculpture <coughs> of the the Greek sponge diver. I like I like the frontalness of it. I like mm -hmm. you know that as a, as something that. Um, you know, it, it, it's a little subtle here, but mm -hmm. you know, it, it, uh, possibly with the material, it'll stand out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, design-wise and placement-wise, two things mm -hmm. uh, uh, about this is: um, can you see the two pieces when you look at this one? This new edition you have, when you look at this kiosk that that uh, has the sponge diver photograph on, when you see that, do you see the two sculptures behind it? The, the yeah, if sculpture? you're if you're if you're if you're kind of facing toward it, right to your left, you actually could see it in the distance at the, the dock. So, yeah. So in a way, it's like a it's it's okay. like in nautical terms, it's like a range. In other words, okay. you know, like like sometimes when you're out in, mm -hmm. in, in channels and stuff, mm -hmm. you get couple of poles lined up like this yes. and if you're lined up with those two poles mm -hmm. you have one behind you and one in front of you you're in the channel mm -hmm. if you get them skewered you're you're out of the channel i had that happen to me once <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh it mm -hmm. i i really like that that kind of uh, mm -hmm. a placement of the two really forming an, an experience of one Mm -hmm. Right, and I, I think that that could be very brilliant in this, and I think to emphasize a little bit um, is that the 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 upside down chevron, the negative mm -hmm. space that you have here, mm -hmm. uh, if it were just that, mm -hmm. uh, without the uh, mm -hmm. these mm -hmm. these buttresses on either mm -hmm. side, mm -hmm. which uh, uh, break away from that. N positive negative right okay right? that that you have right, right. the yeah. two mm -hmm. can the two flow to one so so that makes it to when we are looking at this we, we get off the we get off the trolley and we go mm -hmm. oh what's this and we look at it and we read it we look at it up close because mm -hmm. it's right there we're looking yeah. at it up close but then we sort of stand back or we look past a little bit we see this in the background yeah, and I think that would cause um, curiosity, mm. mm -hmm. and and I think that would be a great draw. If that's mm -hmm. facially possible. For for going to this then they and and, and getting and into the eyesight. details that you're having in this, mm -hmm. so it really connected. Then some people, not everybody, but the very astute people are going to see that you have a full standing sponger. Mm -hmm. As opposed to the others, mm -hmm. you know, so in, in connection with the other sponger, mm -hmm. and I like that aspect mm -hmm. of it. I have always liked this to say that isn't the only sponger, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? That yeah. that's what that statue has always said to me when I go down Dota Canes is that mm -hmm. that's the sponger, and it's not, right? And that's what this piece is is can do, and and I think this secondary piece can do that. I think that could maybe eliminate some of the cost, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in having a little bit more of a, uh, um, a little more minimal in that it's basically the shape of that mm -hmm. negative space in, in between these mm -hmm. two things. I think that would be very elegant. Okay. Uh, not to fight your venerated self, <laughs> except I'm going to. Um, <laughs> The um, the small piece in the middle of the two pieces um, looked to me like it was the missing piece from the two buttresses. It's mm. the right shape and it's sort of the mm. right it colors is, and yeah, everything. Yeah, it it seems be. to be the yeah. missing piece, you yeah. know. So there's there's two ways that it's yeah, well, connected. Yeah. No, I can do that, but yeah. having it out front, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to visually connect the mm -hmm. two. Oh yeah, absolutely. when you look at this one, you'll look at that, mm -hmm. and it, that and and it it does it because it fits in. It mm -hmm. is. It's a it's a um, a picture puzzle. Yes, and so this this piece here fits in yeah. between these two pieces yeah. here. It looks like it's part yeah. of the same picture. Yeah. You know? Oh, see, I and thought that really piece fit yeah. was like this. Yeah. Was this yeah. one this part yeah. the top mm -hmm. part with the 
with the face yeah. is it's that like same keystone. shape. Mm -hmm. The keystone yeah, shape. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Purposely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are there are multiple matching shapes. Yeah. That different ways that you could. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it also gives it another dimensionality when you're looking at the the large uh, the sign. You know that's going to be up front where the dolphin is. You see the the his large piece back there, but the smaller component of that yeah. large piece yeah. almost makes it look like that's even in the distance mm -hmm. behind, mm -hmm. you know, those two pieces. So, I mean, you, you know, it, it, mm -hmm. it works in a lot of different ways. And I kind of like the color, you know, on the base of, of this, you know, the, uh, the front piece that's supposed to be by the dolphin. Mm -hmm. I do like the, all the different pastels and the colors on here because it's on the same, mm -hmm. you know, it's the same colors that are mm -hmm. in the uh, in the main piece and all. And again, it attracts, you know, people, you know, you want to mm -hmm. bring the viewer in. And I think, you know, that this helps, you know, uh, all the colors and the way you've got it done now kind of will bring you in just like uh, Robert was saying and create interest. And now if it's in, <coughs> if it's, if I can see the other piece, you know, and see this when I walk up, and all, well, I'm going to look there, and I see the same colors. I see things. I'll go, well, this is cool, so yeah. I'm going to go check that out. If I'm going to mm -hmm. take time to do this, mm -hmm. most likely I'm going to go over there and, you know, and appreciate, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. contemplate. The other connection you have to the, the crawl is that the crawl, you're creating a place. Mm -hmm. And these three pieces then now create a place as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you, you go into the sculpture, yeah. not, not only through it, like, like the... The double piece, but it, right. it really gives you a, a triangular kind of uh, form. Mm -hmm. Go on. Um, I think it's a fantastic idea to have something there, like like has been said earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I think more informational information needs to be on there to tie the pieces together. I would like more of a call out to the Black Heritage mm -hmm. Sculpture Project mm -hmm. rather than Welcome to Tarpon Springs or Welcome to the Sponge Docks. We've got lots of Sponge Dock stuff mm -hmm. there already. I, lo I love the tie-in with the sponger. The graphic is great. Um, I think there's a lot of different ways that this could be tweaked here or there. Overall, I love the concept, um, but I would really like to see it give its be given its proper attention with a separate proposal because I, I do think it's an important piece and, and um, I would welcome seeing that. Uh, I think this is a great start. Um, I think it's really cool having the two flags on there too. It's kind of at the bottom, but um, I think it's a one of those visual things that um, are going to make people stop and think. Mm -hmm. So that's overall. Um, I agree the the sideways. I would like to see it more of a representation of the negative space mm -hmm. like it is. Like maybe not have the top flat, have the key, that key cut out and down a little further like on this big one, how it's kind of down a little bit. Um, just add a little more uh, shape to the top of it. But those are, you know, little things that, you know, ultimately will be uh, up to you. Um, but overall as a concept, I love it. Sonia? Okay, I'm not going to regurgitate what everybody has said because <laughs> I think we've mm -hmm. kind of said a lot. I really enjoy the design. I think it's very appealing um, with the changes that we recommend. I think it'll just um, make it even. It'll just be, I don't want to say more. Yeah, it'll just, I think it'll just be more welcoming, mm -hmm. so to say. I just have a question about the crawl. Um, mm -hmm. Is there, is there going to be like, I mean, there's so much to see on this. Is there, and I know, I remember what Joan said once about pe her wanting to, people want to sit down and enjoy this. Is there going to be any form of a seating around this or is it just going to be, you can just walk around or do you, are you actually going to have a place where you can sit down? Yeah, I think it's been talked about long term, look. maybe putting some seating and other things possibly so down be there. Yeah. For something like yeah, that? Yeah. Okay. So there's space to do that down there. <coughs> yeah. mm -hmm. All right, so this is all enclosed. It's not a matter of you can actually go inside. Um, you mean like the two pieces that you can actually walk through the middle? No, she's talking about the crawl. Oh, oh. Crawl. Crawl. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 no, you, can't, you don't go inside. It's actually, it serves the same function as that fence, except it's not a fence, really. It's, so right. the only access is via a gate, which uh, Public Works goes in there to, to, to take okay. care of the grass inside of it or whatever. 
project. And I actually just got a key today, finally. For hey, that's a so, um, Yeah, I had a nice <laughs> meeting with Brandon to go over the, you know, me. everything. Yeah. So uh, Brandon Crum in Public Works. So <clears throat> yeah, it's only something that's seen from the outside. <clears throat> and when you do, like, um, I went through a lot of detail going on in this thing, mm -hmm. deceptively simple. But um, putting my architecture back hat back on and looking at the codes, and I said, you know what? Even though it's a sculpture, it's going to be more considered like a fence in a lot of ways. So a lot of fence codes have a four-inch maximum space. Mm -hmm. So um, I altered the design to do that. So and then I had to recount all the pickets, and all, you know. Um, but in any case, that material has a it has almost like a backlit kind of a. It has a whitish back to it, so that when the light diffuses, it, it's, it's even. But you can, like, if you hold up the sunlight, you'll see the ghost of what's on the front, which I think is cool. So if you do peer through, when you're walking, it's going to be interesting because there's going to be light reflecting from the inside of it oh. on the other sides. It's going to be kind of neat. And you'll see that lightness, brightness between the pickets. So I think it'll be neat when it's all said and done, you know. Yeah, and I like the design. It's different. <clears throat> it definitely catches your eye. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll it definitely There's a lot of layers. And what happened when I also did was some of the images from the sculptures are shared, but in the case of that one, you, they may be larger and they become a backdrop in the picket. So there's a reference, like the crawl. I did that with the crawl so because I wanted, to, wanted people to hopefully get that idea. So mm -hmm. there's one example, yeah. OK, Graham and then me. Yeah. Um, I was wondering, the, um, the two odd-looking little posts with things on top, um, are they information pieces about the crowd? Oh, on the far corners? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and, um, and they, they, they say there's more wonderful stuff by the same artist down at the sponge docks? Yeah, basically wording to be determined, but that's what I'm thinking. Um, and Joan early on had requested bollards, so that's why those are there. And I figured two of them mm -hmm. could serve that dual purpose, so... Yeah, mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. You mean there are bad drivers in Florida? We have to protect it. Well, nobody's hit it. There's no sign of anything being hit down there, which is great. But Can I say that out loud? Since, <laughs> OK. Um, you're probably going to hate me now. Uh, if we go back to the, the, the sculpture, I, I guess what I'm having difficulty with is, are these the final um, images you're going to be using? No, no, oh, okay. they're, 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 they're more, yeah, they're, are they're more placeholders. Yeah, those are, okay, yeah, there's a lot of content there, but there's additional, because once you get into it, you have to actually really okay, tweak good. it and really like, right. cause there's a, it's actually interesting because I would been in, in and been embedded in that and <clears throat> you know, it's deceptively simple there because you put all that, that much information on now you have to figure out how to synthesize it. So it doesn't look like too much. So mm -hmm. I'm looking at like kind of tones, overtones some of it, right. so that it blends with the, you know, and some of the historical things might pop out more like a historical, like a right. photograph, you know. Yeah, because to me, some of the images are, uh, the way, as I understand now that they're placeholders, so, mm -hmm. you know, but, um, you know, like the seashell, you know, I know, I understand the conch, but the conch it's very pro prominent, mm -hmm. you know. I would sooner see a person you know, or a historic photograph, and, actually, you know, maybe I, minimize the shell yeah. a little bit, or yeah. What I actually did in that was the, the 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 final. You know, what I'm doing now is actually there's actually within that quiche stone shape, mm -hmm. there is a, actually two images. There's actually a historic image of the uh, the hookers in a boat, right? So that that relationship is you know between the notion of being a conch from the Bahamas is right. That's the idea. Right, because mm -hmm. I, 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 guess, I guess the problem that I was having digesting was that, uh, especially the column on the left, it seems mm -hmm. top heavy with abstraction when, mm -hmm. and all of the actual photographs are on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I'm just looking at it because visually my, mm -hmm. my line of sight mm -hmm. goes to the base rather mm -hmm. than you know, the, the piece as a whole. Well, these are seven feet tall, though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they're, they're a little yeah, taller than that. And, uh, the farther up you get, the harder it is to see. So well, I have to think about that too, actually. Yeah. Right. Um, and um, so there's there's that, and then they're also angled so that they're not like you're looking at something flat at the bottom yeah. of the wall. And then the other thing is to make your eye move along because you know that shape is repeated and it's inversed mm -hmm. when you get to that. So the idea is to kind of make you like look at you know keep triangulating between those things, 
and uh, saying basically the message is that they're it's all interrelated, you know. Um, well, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, you, well, you answered my question by saying that. And yeah, it's a little top old. heavy on that side. I agree with you. The yeah. the abstraction actually is um, people are supposed to go like, aha, oh, that's what an actual sponge looks like. Right. Because this is what. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, yeah, the different but you, you see where things. I'm going. This is yeah. all about the mm -hmm. heritage rather yes. than yeah. mm -hmm. you know. I mean, I love the idea of this texture, you know, the sponge mm -hmm. texture and the conch and mm -hmm. all of that. But, you know, as I said, I really wanted the, mm -hmm. you know, I know that you put countless hours into researching all of those historic photographs. I think that, you know, we should maximize their use. Mm -hmm. So, okay, anybody else have any? Okay, Riverside Field Mural Project. Good input, thank you. Oh, thank you, Stephen. Yeah. So you're going to have to go and give us a proposal for the, the, the wayfinding sign. Uh, Riverside Field Mural Project. We were given three proposals as handouts. Okay. Okay. Why don't we go in reverse order? Does everybody have a chance to take a look at these? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Sonia, do you want to weigh in? We'll go reverse the order here. Give everybody a shot. Uh, do you want to, Do you want me to say which one I chose? Or yeah, or your reason? Oh my. Can I ask a quick question before we for sure. more comments? Because I'm seeing, um, <coughs> for, like this one has the doors and the um, front. Uh, concession stand and some of the others do not so are they at different sides of the no they were all given the same information it's just that that was their I can know how to assess the you know kind of thing yeah um, I, what I'm looking at <laughs> <laughs> okay and they also gave um, you know their a little bit about themselves as well as um, their supplies uh, list. so basically just the one chose to actually show where they would go over the doors and the Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure I was looking at okay. looking at it right while we're... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one okay. quick Sorry. question, Diane. Uh, you know, I saw one of them that said that, you know, uh, $1,800 each for the designs. Did we specify an upper limit of, of the expense on these? I uh, believe on the call to artists, they're... Uh, I don't have that in front of me, but I, I believe that they... We did put yeah. something for supplies. <clears throat> It said $1,000 um, plus expenses. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, uh, oh, I just misread it. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, so, Sonia, do you have a, a preference of these three? I find the first two quite similar in a way, if you look at... Um, mm. Well, let, let, me, let me, before we get started... Okay. Okay. The one that has good morning on the top... Put a big A on that. That's going to be proposal A. Wait, okay. Good. Okay, so just so we know, we know what we're, what we're talking, about. talking about here. <laughs> oh, I just did it by their names, Smith, Sheldon, and G. It's too efficient. You can't have that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, the Michael Sheldon proposal will be B. This is A. And the Slim G proposal will be C. So now that will... This is B. Should simplify mm -hmm. things a little bit. So this is A. This is A. That's B. And this is B. Okay. Yeah, so which one is A? A is the one that starts with good morning. A is this one. On the top oh, of the okay. B. So let's okay. go. How do they know we're reading this in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> that was just the email. That That's when they <laughs> sent it. <laughs> right. A, B, C. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, Sonia, back to you now that we've kind of... Okay. Um, well, since it's both tennis and kind of a soccer field, I... Um, I think I... Gosh, it's, it's a bit of a toss-up for me. Um, I like B. Because to me, I mean, you can see that it's... He picked both both sports, the, the tennis and the soccer, and I don't think it can be confusing as to what the park is. But I also like the, the colors on this, but to me, if I look at C, all I see is football or soccer. Yeah. Football, is that what you say? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, soccer. 
But I kind of like, I think I like B because to me it shows you exactly what to expect there. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dawn. I really like the style of C. Uh, I would like to see a, a tennis version or a, you know something else playing in the park version, not just the soccer, but I, I love both of those. I think the colors are a little dark. If we could lighten the color palette a little bit, um, uh, I, I love that style. I think it's um, kind of a, a newish style, you know, moving to the future. But um, I like the other two as well, different parts of them. Um, B, I thought was clever with the with the nets, mm -hmm. how they're both, you know, soccer has a net and tennis has a net. I thought that was really clever. Um, I like having Riverside on there. I never knew it was called Riverside. Yeah. You know, yeah. even though it's on Riverside. Um, the the other side, um, I understand that art style. It just looks a little messy to me. Uh, I don't know that... Um, that that part of it is really going to translate to a broad community. I understand the art style. I don't know if the community is going to understand it. Um, a, I really, I don't like the let's go. Right. But other than that, I like that too. Mm -hmm. um, so if I was going to choose between A and B, I would choose A, but not let's go. Okay. I would really like to see the style of C with, with a lighter color palette and also tennis. <clears throat> I would say that it, it's interesting. We changed the second call to include more than just tennis and soccer, but that's what we ended up getting was dinner, tennis and soccer. So, but it is the two most obvious uses of that right. that area. So I don't really have a problem with that. Right, the vagaries of uh, the call to artist. Yeah, Robert. Um, what changed that we got three responses? I mean, uh, just, I mean. just uh, <laughs> the moon. Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, good as uh, anything. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm, uh, I actually, I mean, B to me is, is different. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of murals around. And uh, I think, I think there's something, um, there's something expressive with B. It has an energy to it, you know, and um, um, it, the the one with just the soccer ball or the tennis ball, it's moving. Yeah. I mean, it's dynamic, and, uh, uh, and you know, that with the net, I think graphically, it's a very, very interesting uh, um, <coughs> way of seeing things. And then, then you got the soccer player and the tennis player. They work in coordination. They're dancing. There's uh, the visuals. Uh, I like the the uh, spectators up on the top uh, as as being incredibly abstract, like the like the splatters that are all over the place. Uh, I don't know how they would do this to scale, but it would be interesting to see. <laughs> so, so I mean, I'm really my vote is for for. Uh, I, I want to make sure this is B, right? Correct. Yes, <laughs> right. that's B. <laughs> okay. So that's my, it gets my vote. Okay. I mean, the others are, are, are good, but this one is, is just different enough for me. After seeing so many murals, I really, this is, uh, is, mm -hmm. is exciting. The All color right. palette's nice, too. Yeah. Yeah, the colors are. Yeah. I just find it less confusing. Huh. Let, me, <clears throat> let me go through them in reverse order. Um, C... Um, yeah, it's it's too dark, and um, and he didn't pay attention to um, the requirements, so that's out the out the door. Um, he did not pay attention to the thousand dollars plus expenses; just ignored that and went ahead and did whatever he thought was right. Um, you know, that's not what we asked for, so he disqualified himself. So to me, it's really between A and B, and and I think um, that. B is far more interesting, far more dynamic than A. Um, I, 
you know, I just like it. It's 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 got movement. It's got um, it's bright. It's mm -hmm. um, it's got the right kind of colors. It's got the action. It's I like it. Right. So I choose B. That's okay, okay Graham. That's the number one requirement of a judge in a jury system is to look at something and say I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beba. Definitely be. Okay. Um, for all of those reasons. Um, yes, I mean, there's something nice about this one. Mm. But number one, it, I don't see where it would fit the doors and where it would fit. And, and this would go on, on the blank wall maybe nicely on the other uh -huh. side if no. we were going to, uh, you know, maybe add that on no. um, as a separate thing for that blank side. Mm -hmm. But there's no incorporation of the actual structure in these two drawings, so I agree with Graham. He did ignore completely the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the situation. But if we were going to call out for the other side... Yeah, it would know, be a different story. It would right. be a different story. The yeah. blank wall, I think this would be nice on, but for what we have at hand, I think, you know, B is... I have, you know, right. that's it. Go ahead, Nick. I agree. You know, uh, B, there's something, an endearing quality uh, 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 about it. Uh, being a tennis player, I'm real familiar, you know, with the, the Riverside Field and, and the park there and the building. And I think this is going to uh, really uh, look, look the best, uh, you know, as far as uh, addressing that building and in the context of that entire property there that I think, you know, I, I do like B the best. All right. Well, I'm going to make it unanimous. Okay. Um, I like the fact that it's um, it's light, it's carefree, it doesn't clog up the building. You know, it's it's open, it's airy, um, and uh, I guess if I had any kind of negative comment, I'd. But I don't know how you could change it. It would be to get the the soccer ball and the tennis ball more proportionally correct. But that's just nitpicking. Because mm. <laughs> right now it looks well, like the tennis ball is really... <laughs> As a tennis player, I'd also like the tennis ball not to be hitting the net, but then... <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of a bigger tennis ball. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but for... A four-foot wide you know, racket. But okay. for appearance, it, it's, it's, it's right. great. Okay, Diane, I, you know, um, do I hear a motion to... Um, Go with proposal B, Mr. Mike, uh, Mark, Sh yeah, Mike Sheldon. So moved. Okay, second? So seconded. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any uh, nays? Okay, unanimous. So, Diane, <laughs> shall I dare say it? It's in your court. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> No. I haven't been. I haven't been. Was, I haven't yeah. been feeling well. Yet. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, Megan, the uh, budget update and developer contributions. Let's see here. The current balance is one hundred eighty thousand seven hundred forty dollars and twenty five cents. That's interest only and the recent payment to St. Kate's for the evaluation. There are no current project updates. Okay. Uh, we don't have any CRA mural projects to consider? Not yet. Okay. Moving on to new business. Uh, St. Kate Art, uh, there is a uh, printout of a uh, email from Desmond from St. Kate's. And um, I gather he's given priority in his assessment to the mermaid. Um, okay. Um, I guess he's concerned, and rightfully so, about a, a, a <coughs> weld. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, when the art show was on in Craig Park, I looked at it and, and thought, yes, this needs maintenance. OK. So. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, we brought that to his attention last time they did the, um, and, you know, we, they did the maintenance and everything, and he was going to try to get somebody out there to do the welding repair. and. He said that he can't do it because of, I guess, the machinery or something that they need in order to do it. Mm -hmm. It can't. It's not portable, supposedly. So, mm -hmm. 
you know, our guys, you know, public works can't do it. Right. So I'm not really sure what the solution is, to be honest with you. Okay. Um. So <coughs> you're saying that, that, what is it, a weld, is it the welding? It's like with her tail. Um, yeah. There's, go ahead. Yeah, there's a, there's a weld failing. Okay, a weld is failing. And yeah. it's, uh, it, it's holding one part onto another part. Yeah. Well, I don't know whether it's and structural or not. Yeah, it, and, and this piece is bronze. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is bronze. Okay. Um, well, um, from what I understand about it, and, you know, Nick, maybe you know this too, is that TIG welding or MIG welding is, is what you could use with bronze, and there are portable units. Yeah, I've seen. Uh, yeah, I've been I mean, it depends on the where thickness our and climbed up on a on a ladder on top of thing with a with the the MIG system on his back. Well, where's the weld? I mean, I. You know, it might be uh, a good idea if you go would be so kind as to take a walk out there and. I mean, I look at it all the time. I. The mermaid. I, I mean, I'm just wondering. Mm -hmm. this, yeah, it must be at the base. Something. Yeah, it's at the base, yeah. right? But I think it's yeah. around, around her tail. Is it, it a mm -hmm. structural? Weld or is it a, uh, a, a couldn't tell. <coughs> not an expert. That's couldn't just what tell. they told me. You know, right. that's well, if what it's cast bronze, there shouldn't be any welds on it. I mean, it's well, cast. Right. Okay, it's yeah. a crack. Really. But there's you know, uh, okay, crack. yeah. And how to? Oh, so it really? Okay. Okay. Well, the crack I to take a look could be even. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe you need to get them to come out and look at it again with the idea, because what could happen with that is that you could get moisture. Inside of the 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 bronze, mm -hmm. which could cause a crack. I, you know, like we don't have extreme temperatures of cold here, but but you know, mm -hmm. something like that could cause a crack, or, or it's a stress fracture. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had the stress problem with the naiads, right? Mm -hmm. So um, it's it, it could be it could be a, a designer material flaw in it that is mm -hmm. something that that. A weld, I mean, I haven't seen it, so I wouldn't know, but uh, I mean, mm -hmm. you, you can weld it, right. uh, but it'll show. <coughs> I mean, it's going to, it'll alter it, but whether there's, there's another system to it. Well, if you read that first paragraph there, um, after hi, Diane, <laughs> um, you know, he, he says it's still broken. Well, we had ask them to fix it, you know, so... Right, they yeah, I remember this it. has been ongoing This has been over a, a year. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I think it's even longer than that. Well, it says he's waiting, awaiting costs for... Uh, he said, I have another company that we use to repair sculptures. I have some details, and I'm now awaiting the costs. So, well, I guess we'll see if, you know, they can do it with this other company. Well, what I would, what I would like, and I'm going to throw myself on the mercy of Mr. Toth over there, I'd like you to just go and take a look at it. I mean, that's your... Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. going to take a look and see you know, what's going on. Right. I mean, it's been there that long. I don't think anything's yeah. going to happen to it in a month. No, I don't think oh, it's going to fall Oh, it's been there over. for a long time. Right. Uh, so, uh, Nick, between now and the July meeting, sure. if you could take a look at it and maybe, you know, even take some pictures with your phone yeah. and, yeah. and think you know. About how to address right. It. And maybe if you have some recommendations. Sure. Okay. And... Uh, and then uh, if you go further down in that email, um, uh, he raises uh, something about a wooden sl uh, slot that's broken on the bench and uh, the fountain around the naiads. And as you can see, there are notes on that that the uh, city of uh, Tarpon Springs will repair. Yeah. So what I think what I would like to do, and I will entertain a motion, is just to uh, table this until next month, if that's with what everybody's mm -hmm. desire is. Sure. So can I get a motion to table? Yeah. I'll make a motion to table this issue until so next month. Right. Yeah. Okay, second? Second. Cram. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Moving along here. The virtual tour guide and QR codes. Okay, there's a, a little yes. sheet in here. Yeah, that's what you were talking about. Right. This was something that came up at the workshop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think, um, has anybody done this? 
Um, <laughs> but I haven't actually listened to it while walking. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I tried to download the app um, from flstories.org. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I tried it in the, the, um, the Google Play store, and then I tried it directly from flstories.org. And um, it appears that my phone is too new. <laughs> um, it wants uh -huh. me to have a very old version of um, Android to work. Hmm. So I couldn't do it as much mm -hmm. as I would have loved to. Huh. You know, I'm kind of surprised there's no QR code on this. Well, mm -hmm. I was thinking the exact same thing. Of course you were. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm, I'm going to go to the yeah. App store and see. So, you know, would have loved to have done it, but. And it's been years since I've done it. Right. Yeah, this was done a quite a few years ago uh, from a grant that Tina Bukovalis, you know, right. had done, you know, so, um, yeah. Maybe I guess Didn't Chris Sulo do something? Like? Series, yeah. I suspect well, all that I needs to be it. done is compiled for <laughs> the newer version of Android, but no right. and put out there. <laughs> but I don't know who is responsible for that, that website be, and for the yeah. apps. I don't either. Okay. Florida well, Communities Well, I, I think that well, it Apple, would... Apple, my new Apple phone can get it. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I think it would behoove us to probably try to do something like this ourselves or in conjunction with uh, the Historical Society. I know I worked on something for them a long time ago, and the fun thing about historical materials, it doesn't change all that much. <laughs> you know, so, you know, we have the, you know, some new sculptures and everything, but, you know, I think, uh, since I'm looking at a design and graphics person, <laughs> <laughs> maybe we Graham. can, uh, did you want to kind of look at it? Um, yeah, thanks. Okay. Well, there was, um, you know, in our, in our workshop, <laughs> in our workshop, uh, we had, Number one talked about the QR codes, and we were also talking about the um, signal box lamps and wraps and stuff like that. And I was doing some more research, and I came across, I believe it's in Clearwater, because um, I called the city of Clearwater, mm -hmm. called the lady. Well, I, I read a newspaper article, tried to call that lady, but I talked to the lady who answered the phone. And she said, we're, we're really following St. Pete's lead on this. They really, you know, blew it up. And so I started researching their stuff. And on their boxes, they have, like, sponsors and stuff like that. And they've got the, a P code. And it's a, like a slanted P, but it's like a QR code. You can scan it and get information. Mm -hmm. And it's this app. And <clears throat> anybody can set one up. And you just put these codes on, you know, whatever artwork you want. It's a hundred dollars per artwork, mm -hmm. and it will set up a, on that that app. It, they can go in and do mm -hmm. like a walk and all that kind of stuff. So rather than us doing that, if we invested a hundred dollars per wherever we wanted to send them, mm -hmm. and you have a P on there, it kind of eliminates the QR code scam thing that that um, is worrying some folks. Mm -hmm. Because they've got their own special code thing right. on there. Um, it, I can, in the meantime, I can, um, I bookmark some of these um, things so I can send those to be put in the next meeting minutes if we want to sure. take a look at it. Or I could email Diane and yeah, you can email she to, could yeah. disseminate and you all could kind of check out what I was looking that would at. would be great, Dawn. And um, I just thought that that might be a really cost effective way for us to do our public art stuff, and then mm -hmm. if different um, uh, uh, businesses or uh, Heritage Museum or whoever else wanted to get involved, right. then they could put in their hundred dollars, and it would all be a thing. Right. And and you know the app maintains it and all that kind of stuff. So that sounds great. <clears throat> yeah. You so can send it email because I won't be here at the next meeting, so I'd like to look at right. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will tomorrow. I will email you, Diane, that the link to that. Um, <coughs> Thank you very much, Dawn, for you send it out. I, I was I was looked at it and I was like, oh, maybe we can do that. <laughs> yeah. um, I sent in something very similar last year, mm -hmm. sometime. Um, but I think was that the one that was kind of shot down by IT? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, it was the same sort of thing, and it was the same price too, a hundred hmm. bucks per okay. per site. All right. Um, just a different name. Okay. And um, and it wasn't St. Pete that was doing it. It was uh, somewhere further south. Okay. Can't Sar- remember the, which Sarasota one. does have uh, an app like that too. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I've got it back at my office yeah. but it's a similar thing it's like you have to mm-hmm. but you have to download the app on your phone and then it gives a little you know where it's located you know all right. that happy stuff and then a video of the artist explaining their piece too so mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. pretty mm-hmm. sophisticated yeah okay yeah it was nice yeah mm-hmm. cool well, i'll send out the link and we can all take a look maybe it's maybe it's not for us but it could be you know, as opposed to, you know, right. tons and tons of money and time and effort by individuals putting something like that together right. that looks, you know, and behaves well, it might be a good alternative. Right. So we'll see. I'll send a link to the um, Sarasota one too. Cool. Oh, great. We Thanks. Still Diane. need somebody to script it. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. I think um, from the little bit that I gleaned, you can have as little or as much information as right. you want on there. You can just say, here's the code for it and stick it on there and here's the name or here's the artist and you can add other information if you want to, right. you know, yeah. more content about <coughs> the artist or the artwork or whatever. So, um, but I'll... I'm pretty sure for our existing ones, we could um, twist some arms and, yeah. and get them to right. talk I think so. about it, you know, like... like um, somebody sitting over there might <laughs> about his or you know we know that elizabeth is always willing to talk about her murals mm-hmm. yeah there you go um, yeah Stephen and elizabeth could be our guinea pigs right. yes yeah, and i can uh i actually created a walking tour many many years ago for uh, the historical society and i i still have all of that text so oh cool mm-hmm. we want to incorporate that absolutely yeah, maybe the history's changed though Um, the june 7th workshop i was i think we were all amazed that it went on for two hours but i don't think anybody noticed or objected to it i think Mm -hmm. it was very very productive Mm -hmm. Uh, i think it clarified a lot of the directions we want to take um and uh megan was kind enough to type up it's in your uh, handouts your um the bulleted list that that we created so I think that's going to be food for thought uh, we've already at this meeting discussed one and two um, and uh, the uh, the stuff that we have in the uh, in the offing is Craig Park you know the clerk's office and I agree with you all that we have to get it on the ground floor on the clerk's office. Mm-hmm. Um, and it sounds like, you know, Dawn's been doing some follow-up on the utility and signal box. Um, okay. Uh, number six, seven, eight. I mean, these are all big, big projects. And, uh, you know, I think they're all very worthwhile, very valuable to the city and, and worthy of pursuing. So I think we've really got some nice projects here in the hopper. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm very happy because I was beginning to think that, you know, there was nothing concrete going forward. What, you you what thought you? our work was complete and we should no, disband. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the contrary. <laughs> Like, where's all the work? Okay. Well, I do um, want to s- say I completely forgot about this until I saw this um, to be the Riverside Park updates. Has anybody heard anything more about that or if it will affect our mural oh, situation? Right. Yeah, we, did we ask about that? If they're going to no, do anything to that don't building? I don't have any updates on that. Right okay. Now. Okay. Well, I'm sure they'll say something when it comes to approving the. Right. What we put forward. Okay. Or not. Okay. Um, all right. This is something that's kind of near and dear to my heart. Uh, Mike Elwell, as you know, was the sculptor who created Pete the Pelican. Mm. And this was offered to us a few years ago, and it kind of stuck in my head. Um, I was able to, nego- oh, Diane was able to negotiate the price <laughs> 
down to $15,000, which I believe is half the original asking price. Um, at the June workshop, there was a discussion of additional PAC projects at Craig Park, and I think this would be an absolutely magnificent uh, addition to the Bayou Waterfront. Um, you know, we'd have to figure out a location for it, but uh, it's at $15,000, it's at a threshold that, you know, is according to ordinance, does not require uh, formal approval by the BLC, although we will, you know, run it by them. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, 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 this is one of my favorites. I, I think it's absolutely magnificent, and I think, you know, there had been extensive discussions in the past about doing some kind of wildlife piece, you know, down in Craig Park. Mm -hmm. So what's the material? Is that a, it's a it's a bronze. bronze. Yeah. Okay, and it's meant for outdoor. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. Yeah. So Nick, what do you think of it? I like it, uh, and all, um, and it's all context of, of where you put these pieces, and all. Uh, you know, I can see a, a place in the park itself, mm -hmm. you know, not necessarily near the waterfront, but set back somewhere again, you know, in a, a, a create a space, not just kind of mm -hmm. stick it there, you know, right, right. like lawn art, but to create, a, you know, a, an on purpose, a purposeful space almost, you know, where this can be right. you know, viewed and stuff and appreciated. Uh, mm -hmm. And all, and right. The, you know, but I, I do. You know, I, I like it. I, th I think it's a nice piece. You know, and the, yeah. Yeah, I know. think it would. You know, what conceptually I was thinking of would be somewhere, either uh, along that strip where the mermaid is, or the north-facing. Uh, uh, you know, uh, not far from where that sunburst mural is. You know. Well, yeah. Or, right. Right. You know, because I think there's some parking in there. It gets a lot of, I yeah, think that yeah. would be a nice spot for it. Yeah, I would almost have it tucked somewhere where, again, you know, because it looks like, make it look like part of the environment. Right, uh, exactly. <coughs> That's the whole point. Not just a, a piece stuck out near the seawall or something right. know, like that. Right, and I thought, you know, in honor of Biba, we could put it down by the cross-diving platform so the kids could <laughs> impale themselves on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ms. Beaver. You say you that before I'm about to be the bad guy. I don't yeah. love it. <laughs> I don't love it. Okay. <laughs> I don't right. I like it, but I don't love it. Okay. Um, so I'm here nor there. Like okay. I, I could, you know, I could live without it. Okay. Um, but I mean Moi? Yes. Um, I'm with Beaver on this. I could live without it. Um, but I'm also with Nick on it because if we made it part of our Craig Park beautification mm -hmm. um, and made a place for it, um, found a place for it and, right. and made that into a, um, a focal point, um, you know, then, then, yeah, I mean, I can see it then. But, mm -hmm. you know, in, in his living room or whatever it is, it, 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 it really... You know, well, it's it's lacking it's something inside. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's really not displayed to best effect. Right. I think that's his yeah. workshop. Robert, I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'd I'd much rather see us devote what what resources we have towards the the beautification of of Craig Park. I agree. Mm -hmm. And I, I could see it as, as a commitment like we sort of had towards the Black Heritage Project. And I would mm -hmm. I would like to see that rather than, I know this is a, a bargain, 50% off mm -hmm. uh, for that, and uh, I'm quite sure people would really like it. I don't. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Dawn? Um, I like it. I like the motion of it. I think it has a lot of, you know, just the way everything... Right goes. Um, I really like the motion of it. I agree that it would, you know, I wouldn't just set it out there. It would really need an environment, maybe, oh, you know, thought. benches exactly. and, you know, landscaping and stuff like that. And I think it could be really neat. Um, 
we're used to seeing these birds all the time, but a lot of people who come to visit here aren't used to seeing these birds all the time. Mm. So it's, I can see it. I remember when I first came here, seeing these birds was magical to me. Oh, like yeah. they were so incredible. Um, growing up in Oklahoma where, you know, there's robins and, and you know, mm -hmm. boring birds. Like right. I love birds. I love birds. But when I got here, I was like, I need a bird book. I have got to identify all this bird life. And I think this is a, hmm? <laughs> I know. I, the, I, I know. It was crazy. Um, so I like the idea of including some bird life in there. I think it has great motion, and I think in the right setting it would be um, really nice. And I think it would appeal to visitors. Okay. Sonia? <clears throat> Personally, I don't mind it, but I don't think Craig Park is the right place for it because, I don't know, I go to Sunset Beach. I, I do a lot of walking, and to me, these birds are so prominent at Sunset and at Fred Howard, especially at low tide, mm -hmm. um, that I... If we had to take this, I would say I'd rather put it at sunset. You know, we we just kind of because it looks like it wants to fly off. It just I don't know. It just reminds me of the beach when I see this, and not mm. Craig Park itself. Yeah. Maybe we could have a little plaque by it saying, "If you want to see the real thing, go to sunset." There you go. Because <laughs> <laughs> my comment to that would be, "We've got real birds there." <laughs> <laughs> so you only want mythical sculptures. No. <laughs> Anyway, it's just not eh, it's boring. Okay. See, I'm I'm with Dawn. I like the motion of it. I like the uh, to me I can see this either in Craig Park or like you said on Sunset Beach. It's 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 a I look at it and I, I feel good. I feel happy. But that's that's the subjective part mm -hmm. of art. Well know? and and I can tell by looking at this picture, this picture is yellow. Like but, there's a like you can't really judge the colors and the vibrancy of it because this is kind of a, a dimmer yellow shaded. I'm sure his walls and, you know, everything is not this color. Right. So, um, and the head kind of get lo gets lost in the background. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's his workshop. That's yeah, and it looks like it's got something coming down from his chest, but I'm sure that's a sculpted piece behind it. And so, um, yeah. Uh, an issue about this, though, being outdoors, it's going to be difficult over a period of time to keep that color mm -hmm. on a bronze sculpture. Yep. It'll have to be redone. Yep. Yeah. So, That's what I was and, asking and if it was an outdoor. This is not, you know, yeah. it's painted. I mean, it, it looks like it's painted, mm -hmm. but I don't know what kind of patina they've used on it, uh, mm -hmm. he's used on it, but uh, uh, there's a lot of handwork in, uh, in maintaining that piece over a Okay. Yeah, maybe we could find Over out from him if it's got yeah. any finish or paint on it. Yeah, I also It'll believe... It'll still go. It'll break down under the, yeah. under the sun. Yeah, it's seven feet, I believe, he said. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it would have to be put up on a pedestal just to, you know, keep people from being impaled, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> the, uh, a beak in the eye? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that kind of a piece would be better if it were put under some kind of a shelter so that you didn't have the sun... Yeah. Hitting it all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would that would help maintaining the the coloration of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So shall we table this? People want to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can call for a vote on it if you yes. want. Yes. Can I hear a motion to table? Um. Yeah, I'll move to table discussion on the. Um, Mike Elwell Blue Heron Bronze Statue until further notice. Okay. So does tabling mean we're going to talk about it again, or does tabling yeah. mean we're done? Tabling means we're going to take, talk about it again. Okay. Get some after we get some more information. Okay. Yeah. So you second? Okay. No. No. I would. I would okay. motion to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, to move along and not have to the, talk the, about it. The way it works is that you need a motion on the table in order to have a vote. So we need a second for the motion, no, and I, you can vote that up or down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just, I was just. Okay. Do we have a second, or is the motion just going to die? Can I second? No. No. Because no. everybody's here. Yeah. 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 Okay. No. no. Okay. I guess motion <laughs> dies. I didn't vote no. Okay. Okay, over so, to Diane and the magic mushrooms. Okay, so 
Yeah. I was given this by yeah. our public works director because I guess this is a old neighborhood in, you know, Tarpon Springs and uh, this gentleman, um, Brian, and it's like, I guess he lives there and you can see by the photos that this is the current status and he calls these rocks mushrooms and then of course there's one fountain and then two mushrooms so he was inquiring whether the public art committee would be interested in giving them a facelift I guess mm -hmm. um, do we know anything about where they came from? Right. No, um, they're just like, I think they, they say that the neighborhood is from the <coughs> 1920s. I don't know how long these what are here, but the resident doesn't have any more information about them. Beginning so, of Grand Peak? Near Top and Turtle. So yeah, I didn't even know where it was located, but um, yeah. So then he just asked, you know, that we consider you know, this is a, a project, so there's, again, two mushrooms and a fountain. The fountain does not work, but I'll just leave it up to you all for discussion. Okay. Well, just for my part right there, the fountain does not look like a piece of art. It looks like it's a manufactured something. Yeah. Something you'd find in a lawn ornament store. Had, but yeah. The mushrooms, I have no idea. <laughs> <coughs> I don't think they're manufactured, but. Uh, um. Well, the, my, my first impulse on this is that uh, whenever the two words water feature come up, I know that uh, everybody <laughs> quakes in their boots. And, you know, it's, I know what we went through just to get that fountain down by the naiads. And it's, it's no easy trick. I'm, I'm, I'm more negative on this than positive. I agree with Robert wholeheartedly. It looks like, you know, cast concrete. As a uh, production art, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's it's yeah. It's uh, you know, lawn art. Yeah. And just because something's old like me doesn't mean <laughs> it has to be I mean it could be a <laughs> it could be a site for future better art, but as far as Refurbishing well, that, that's, that's not, I don't right. think that's in our purview. Well, first and foremost, I think everybody sitting here gets around town. And when, when you look at something like this, and it's like, like Biba said, where is it? I mean, it's, it's not something that's been remarkable for all these years. I, I don't think it's remarkable now. I don't think it has the potential for being remarkable. So, um, Well, even like wh where these mushrooms are located, it doesn't... I mean, I see a bunch of sand. I mean, the whole area doesn't look like it's... Yeah. Looks like it belongs in Hobbiton. Like, I've seen yeah. one of those Pelican mailboxes before. Oh, yeah. I don't know where... <laughs> yeah, we've got, we've got one near where I live, too. Um, Grand, yeah. May I ask? Grand View. By all means. Yeah. Um, if you have a look um, at uh, the satellite images on, on Google Maps, it's, an, it's Grand View Drive is the extension of East Boyer. It's um, where that extends past Highland Avenue, so it's over there near Tarpon Turtle, okay. Um, okay. or the Tarpon Sail and Tennis Club, whichever okay. landmark okay. takes your fancy. Um, and um, there are there are four of these circles um, on the um, on the on the satellite images. Um, so he's talking about three of them, huh. you know, um, two mushrooms. Um, and a total of three concrete items. Well, on the satellite, I can see four. Obviously, he turns off before he reaches the fourth, yeah. um, <laughs> or or seems to. And yeah. you know, I, I I don't know. The central reservation on these um, uh, brick streets that's over there. Um, I don't know who that belongs to. I mean, is that city-owned street? Is it yeah. county street? Is it? Right. We to can't do fix with up us. anything have, that's on private property. Right. Yeah, it might be private road for all I know. Um, uh, and and the other thing is, is you know, it, it, these things. The fountain does look like something that 
you know, was bought down at the local garden centre back in 1920. Mm. Um, and the, as for the mushroom, I have absolutely no idea. But my answer is no. Okay, so can I get a motion to um, approve the rehabilitation of the fountain and mushrooms? <coughs> so moved. Second? Sure. Okay, that was you, Nick? That was me. That was oh, Biba. Oh, Biba, okay. Okay, um, all in favor? All opposed? <laughs> Nay. Opposed. Okay, opposed. unanimously opposed. Okay, um, I think if you don't mind, Diane, since Katie's been waiting so patiently, we'll sure. give her uh, first shot at the public comment section. Of course. Thank you so much. How are you all today? Good, how are you? I wonder if it's okay if I can share a picture with you before I start. Sure. Oh, yeah. Hi, Katie. Thank you, Katie. You got one for each one of us? Yes, sir. Okay. Everybody got two copies. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Katie, thank you. Oh, yes. I recognize this. Yeah. Um, thank you, Joan, for sharing your thumb drive with me. I took it upon myself to sit down and go through your whole thumb drive for three years, mm -hmm. and I compiled notes from 2020 to today. Okay. I'm going to try to briefly go over what are my concerns, because the picture that you're looking at, um, from what I'm gathering that Mr. Oliver was talking about, that green bush that's in the front right there, that's where you're talking about putting uh, the sign signage. No, further, you, further closer. Where the, where the, the, where the uh, dolphin is. The dolphin sits right in front of this green bush. Yeah, well, you see that green bush on the right-hand side? Yeah. The yeah, dolphin no, I that you're talking to? More toward, it would be like in the foreground that's off the yeah. picture. But the dolphin is right in front, so I'm trying to get where we, where we the dolphin but The dolphin's is. going. Yeah, so right, that's where okay. we're starting at, right there. So <laughs> then the exhibit is going to be at the back of this parking lot, where right. you see on the right-hand side. If you notice in the back of this parking lot, that open scene back there is water. Mm -hmm. It was a big boat back there that was backing up. So to me, that's a concern right there, to have an art exhibit back there that's going to be open where you got boats pulling in. On the right, on the left-hand side, where you see those cars, those are the tenants that's renting boat slots on the right-hand side. Now, will the city be getting rid of those parking spots and that whole section back there is going to be open up for this art exhibit? That's just my question here. So those would be things that I would be concerned about. So now when I'm looking at these, when I, when I went back to review all the um, minutes, on, in 2020, when this first started, on January 2020, Vice Chairman Ikramar suggested that a Bahamian sponger sculpture be put in the master plan. So we're dealing with a Bahamian sponger sculpture. Then, as we go on in June, June of that year, the, the verbiage changed from a sponger, from a sculpture to a statue. Then it came back in that same year to say a life, a Mr. Stackhouse was saying, let's have a life-size figurine bronze sculpture. That kind of went out. So um, a, a suggestion was made for the, um, for the, for the, the, sta the sculpture to be a mirror, a comparison companion to the Greek sponger that's, that's a metal, that bronze statue down there. So they would have stood side by side right there together. But that was, that was put down. It appears this way the sculpture changed to abstract art. So now the beautiful art that Mr. Uh, Oliver has done, beautiful art piece, I'm all for that. Mm -hmm. um, but my concern is it doesn't appear anywhere from all these years that the actual subcommittee, because you had a committee, I wasn't sure who the first committee was that worked on it, but the subcommittee, <coughs> um, um, J Joan, mm -hmm. in, uh, in April 14, 2021, you formed a subcommittee, and those subcommittee was seven people. I'm not sure, but it looks like I know two of these people on here was African American. I'm not right. sure. Milton and Annie. Mm -hmm. Two out of seven. Right. So we got two African Americans on this, on this, um, on this. Now it changed from the Bahamian Sponger Project to the Black Heritage Project. Right. The Black Heritage Project. If you got something going on down at Union Academy, 
I'm thinking that should stick with the Black Heritage Project on the Union Academy, because that's the African American neighborhood where our heritage is. Down on Dunkinese, that's the Greek community, and that's where the sponger was a diver. So that should still be called the Bahamian Sponger Project as it initially started out. So we, I would recommend getting away from the Black Heritage Project for Greektown, call that sponger what they set it up to be in the master plan, which is a Bahamian Sponger Project. Because you're getting, with the, with the Black Heritage, you're gonna get it all twisted and confused because one, it's, it's not that we're separate, but it, the, the two communities are different. So that sponger <coughs> was a sponger. Um, then we went on to down, we, I, I would skip a lot of it because if it's not pertaining to the location, I'm just kind of like stepping away from it. So the years are far apart. Uh, in September 22, no look, no, in that meeting, there was no location mentioned. No, nothing was mentioned. It uh, came back into play when Mr. Oliver brought it up on, in December of 2022 um, about the site. And he was going to meet with the city officials. And then um, Ms. And then Joan, you was going to meet with the city, city officials because you was concerned about the scale of it or something. But my concern is that the one person that was two people that was on that committee, they said that they didn't vote on no location. They didn't. The, no, the, that's the actual, right. It was selected before the committee was formed. Right. So to me, if it was select, no, the subcommittee. You when you assign the subcommittee. Right. Those are the people that was supposed and that Black Heritage. That's when that thing was. That committee was formed. Right. That Those was to are the select people, the artwork. Right. Yeah, the artwork, not location. Correct. Artwork. Okay, so th they were telling me the truth. They didn't vote on a location. Right. They were voting on the artwork. So the location still haven't been approved yet. So now... Oh, the location how, was determined before the call to artists even went out and before the no, committee was Not formed. according to the minutes. I don't, I don't find it in here anywhere. Did you, do you have the, I, uh, I have do you have the call to artists? Yeah. And that was yeah. approved by the committee and it's in the... But it's a call if, to artists. It's not a call to... It's not about yeah, a location. Yeah, but it had the locations on the bottom. No, Stephen is the only one I'm seeing about a location. That, no, his information. no, no, no. If you look... Because I remember Diane and I, remember we, we drove around and took pictures of the Union Academy neighborhood and the, um, around the Tourist Information Center, and we had them, they were the two images that were on the bottom of the call to artist. No. I don't have it with me, but I can look it up. Mm -hmm. So, but people on that, two people on that committee said they did not vote for this art, this, for this art piece, this beautiful art piece, to go at the back of that arena. It, it sounds like the marina is being, is being kind of like put on. The, uh, at one point, sound like you're saying, the co it appeared that the commissioners was doing it. But no, the commissioners. When I went to their meeting, they're saying it, it's up to the art council to decide. Right, it was because decided it got away before, from them. Right, it was decided from the get go. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out who voted to put it back in the back of this parking lot. Was it the art council? Was it the Black History? Well, it ended up Black being Heritage? the board of commissioners. No, did they saying that they didn't do it? Well, weren't you at the meeting? Yeah. They yeah, voted I'm, on it. No, they put it back on you. <laughs> no, they didn't. Yeah. They voted on the... Uh, no, it was a... They, they got it off the table because they was tired of hearing about this project. They call it this and they call it that. Two commissioners, Commissioner Eisner, say we need to get this out of the out, done because we've been dealing with this for so many years. Commissioner Kulias said that need to be off the table because we're tired of dealing with it. Kulias is the one that concerned me because he was all for putting it to the back of here. When you put with with this with this this beautiful art piece that's that's depicting the black sponger, the Bahamian sponger, a Bahamian sponger could have been white or black. It doesn't. They, they're not. It's mm -hmm. not colorated. A Bahamian sponger because there's white Bahamians just like it's black Bahamians. Right. So some of them could have been spongers too. So with that art piece, when they worked, my concern as a citizen as a citizen of Tarpon Springs, is that this beautiful art piece is being put to the back of a waterway. When it should, I'm not getting a clear answer as to why the committee, two of those committee members saying put it up by the fund exchange that is being fought to be what put in What two committee back. members? I don't want to call them the names. I'll let them, I'll let them speak for themselves. Okay, maybe they'll come to the next the, meeting. The, the, yeah. the last meeting? Or they, you mean the recent commission meeting? Well, the two people that I, I spoke to that did not vote on this was Milton Smith mm -hmm. and Tina Bukulavalas. Those two people did not vote for this to go in the back of this parking lot. Right, exactly, because yeah. the, the, the But they the was two people on the was, committee. 
The, the location was determined before the committee they were on was formed. Don't sound like it. I'm, I'm lost with that, because that committee, if, if even if they did, if you even if you had a, even if that was so, which was probably so because you're saying. Can I tell it. you? Can I tell you why it was so? Mm -hmm. Because the the when the concept was created, a call to artists went out. Okay, and Robert, I'm sure you'll bear me up. When you are asking for a project on this scope, <clears throat> you have to specify the location so the artist knows what he's dealing with. Is that correct? Yeah. The, but I, I remember that the first proposal was in front of that building. Well, it was in that area. But yeah, the thing yeah. is that it, on front, when, well, OK. Let me take it in the order it happened. All right. So the thing is that when the call to artists went out, and I know that Diane and I were almost in a panic because we didn't hear anything for months, we ended up getting 14 proposals, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK. One of them was from Spain. One of them was a couple who did something for the 9-11 memorial. And the purpose of that committee was to act as a jury to select the artwork from the proposals that were submitted. Mm -hmm. And they were all working on the premise of those two locations. But the minutes don't reflect that. No, because it was, it, was already, it was already, it was part of the, it was part of the original call to artists. Yeah, but that's what I mean. The minutes don't reflect that. Your, your minutes don't reflect that that's part of the call to the artist to say it's going to be put to the back of this parking lot. No, it wasn't. Yeah. It, it so. wouldn't be in the minutes because it was something that was decided by the Board of Commissioners, so it wouldn't be so, on us. So do not, do, are you saying I need to break this back to the Board of Commissioners? I don't know whether they're going to revisit it. It's already been... But but they, they put it on you. At, when I was at the last commissioner's meeting, when they voted on it, and I asked the commissioner, I asked the um, commissioner about it, they said go to... <coughs> The Arts Council meeting. That's where you're going to have to deal with this at. You're going to okay, have to deal Stephen, with it. At the I see you're Arts back Council. there with your hand up. Uh, yeah, the, uh, just to kind of clarify, um, um, she called me up, um, you know, which raised the concerns and about the meeting at the, the board board's uh, vote. And I said, which I thought was true because they said that evening that basically they were. They have some justification to moving along because they've got a lot to deal with. I don't think it's, I don't look at it as like a negative. I do see that there was some batting around and some thinking. They were trying to think on their feet um, with a lot of what's going on. But basically, they said, we're going to approve this. Any other changes have got to be basically decided by the Public Art Committee. So when she called me, I said, they're going to tell you to go to the Public Art Committee. That's why she came last month. But I think that I knew that's what was going to happen. And so that was the appropriate venue. So it's essentially up to the <coughs> Art committee, what goes on with this project in terms of where it's located? Well, as far as I was concerned, okay. it's it's, what it's they, a closed matter. Right. What, yeah, they, well, may, see, what, what the, they may what, be saying is bring it to us, and then we got to bring it back to them. Yeah, because well, I, if, if you want to change it, you right? Have to do that. Well, that's what came yeah. up at the last public art committee, right, Stephen? Yeah. We talked about the fact that if you wanted to make any changes to this, we have to go back to square one because you have a contracted agreement with the city, and that's what was approved by the board of commissioners. So if anything changes from what was decided at that meeting, all this goes in the garbage. We just have to start yeah. all over again. So, and that's, that's, well, that's another thing. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, I was just going to say the um, uh, Stephen's idea about having um, another piece um, out in front of the, um, the, the, tourist the tourist information building, thank you, um, where the, the dolphin currently is, the strange thing with the funny glasses. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we have um, asked Stephen to provide us with a proposal mm -hmm. that we can look at and decide on um, because it's outside of the scope of the contract. We, we have this contract. We have to live with it, mm -hmm. like it or not, even though, you know, the contract was written and signed before I came on this committee. You know, I, I, I did so open-eyed knowing that there were contracts out there that I'd have to abide by. Yeah. Right, and Stephen, I mean, you negotiated that contract with the city attorney. You didn't negotiate it with us, you did it with the city attorney. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to 
this involves Stephen because what my concerns is to me it don't involve Stephen because Stephen is the artist. He's the artist. Right. He's the artist, right? He's the artist, right? And he's the one that holds the contract. He, that's that's true, but he, he, his contract is for his work, right? right. And the, okay. the work has to go in a location. Exactly. So, so but the it's, location it's a, it's is a location is, that's been is the location Stephen's responsibility. No, it was okay. There we go. So I won't, I won't, I won't involve Stephen anymore because well, it, it does become my responsibility because as an artist, as well as a designer, every single thing is interrelated. The sighting, the exactly. materials, the way you install it, the tools you need, the timing of getting all that together. There's a lot that goes on to making that. Now, granted, that said. When I look back, when I when I think about, I've been taking notes as I go along, and I always try to step back, and I'm glad I do because I more respect the input that I get and the ideas that I come back. Um, I, I got good input earlier this, 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 this evening. This afternoon. Um, but some of the actually issues have actually or have been working themselves out, even with this last wayfinding piece, because um, it's funny that that, that um, Robert mentioned that I hadn't even thought of it. But it, the idea, the visual of the of the sponger, and on that same road, basically, or you know, as as the broad sponge sponger, I was like, you know what? That's that's actually another good layer there. You know, there's there's a there's um there's some concerns that are that that should be addressed that really aren't. The the boats, they don't come over the sidewalk, so there's really not an an issue there. But there's no need to change in the parking. The last spot where we decided when we went out with Public Works was actually not a spot. So they said that's the best uh, place to do it. And I, I really, I really come to believe, and I've done, I beat the pavement because at one point I wasn't sure where it was going to go <laughs> because of the BOC hadn't voted um, and it kind of gone on. I canvassed the whole area, and um, I thought about alternatives. I went and and, and uh, went even redesigning things. To try to fit, just to try to make sure that it would happen. Now, in my end run analysis, the time to reflect on this, I see that. Well, first of all, the last meeting I gave like a summary. So basically, the upsides of all that analysis, I wanted the talk the public art committee to have is just information, you know, another set of eyes on a bunch of stuff. <coughs> and but the other thing I learned is that, and 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 from Nicholas, you know. From, that there's a committee working now as you do downtown. They're, they're actually, they're not really up and running fully yet, but by the fall, I believe, the whole analysis. Mm -hmm. So when I really think about it, as much as I tried and looked at alternatives when it wasn't sure, uh, the truth is that they, um, it's better to have that process. Well, that's virtually, there isn't another alternative also, in addition to the fact that we solved this. There really isn't another alternative for the placement of this work. Um, should that say, say I went off and said, okay, I think I wish you wait. We don't know that committee may decide we want it much more historically stringent. You know, we may, we, <laughs> in, besides the trap, there may be issues that, that would forestall and basically kill a project. And so, um, and I realized, and, I, and one of the things I mentioned to you when we went down there was I realized, this, I realized I made a jump uh, in my thinking. And I realized you were the head of the historic, the Rose Cemetery, which is the largest historic, you know, um, cemetery. And Tina had written the grant for the waterfront. And we're like, you know what? Those two together, that's what I was trying to explain to you. This is not in the realm of art. But I, by pounding the pavement, I saw an opportunity for maybe something really creative to do that would augment this project. Part of the concern that I heard that I couldn't address in my artwork was, Specific names and of people who are more in the more current history, more present history that a lot of are familiar in the community now. One of those, the guy in that image actually might be he should because he was a city employee up, up into the seventies, I believe. But in any case, um, you know, this is not under the purview of arts, but you might be able to do something very creative by combining two historic forces with the same idea, but having a names in a very appropriate historical way that would never be a problem, I don't think. No traffic problems. And that's what I tried to say to you. I said, I realized that, again, stepping back, guess what? I'd have rather have three or four than, than, than two. In other words, when, you, when somebody does an overlay, a walking 
in the future, if that were to happen, a walking tour, they could connect my artwork with another historical marker in the context of those markers I was trying to pull into the mix, and I couldn't. So it's like, again, I just, um, that's kind of what I think. I think of the long view, and I think that it's all going to be good in the end. I think that we're kind of creating something where people will come, they'll realize I even tried to say this one of the board meetings. It's like I could see the potential of an area. If this is, if that was a waterfront spot in most waterfront communities, you know how prized that would be. Yeah. But it can't put it on the working sponge docks because the well, working I know that. sponge yeah, dock yeah. is still working. That's why. But we have a waterfront spot, and what's kind of neat about this, getting it a little more into the intimacy of the artwork. And I was helped by this in a number of different ways, including visiting Nicholas's shop when he mentioned that place where they used to baptize people. Yeah, yeah, across the bridge. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know, and it go, and it ties in with Joan's notion of the contemplative. You know, if you think about the spirit of where we're putting it, a place where it's less. There's a boats back there, but they're not always there, and it's less obstructed than anywhere mm -hmm. else in the waterfront. Yeah. That's <laughs> actually kind of what it was like when they were. They were there yes. before almost anybody. Right? They were on the so working dock. They were not at the marina well, dock. There were phases of this going way back into the 1800s, like 1880s at mm -hmm. least. But I think there's even earlier. They were out here on the river when there was almost no one of this infrastructure. There mm -hmm. were there were docks. Right. There were docks in separate different places and places where they lived next mm -hmm. to the fishing along the Ancoat River and down there. So the docks they eventually did become in the docks, and that's where you get more of the more of the current people who were. In, in, in recent memory, who remembered for working in the, in the, and right in the exchange, even, you know. So I don't, when I step back to it, I see, again, I, I see a long term potential for something that's yeah. even better than just one or two sculptures, you know. Okay, well, Stephen, I'm just, you know, we're, 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 this yeah. is. The, but the African American community, I'm looking at it as from our standpoint, because when I look at this picture, all I see is these, these spongers who worked on that dock that really should, is not being put up there because you don't want to move a tree. Stephen, I, I showed him where those, those planters are. Hey, That's Katie, out because y'all don't want to move it. I'm going to sit down because it's I'm, I'm concerned right. it's about, a, it's a, I'm concerned, but please know what you're yes, doing you, with this, what this here is, is, a, is, a, um, is, is, is not honorable to our community, to put it in the back here. So I know you done did a lot of work. I respect that. I'm concerned because all the minutes that you gave me and I took my time to go through, I don't see nowhere where that, hit, that, that the, the, the committee that you formed, the Black His Heritage Committee, sh voted to put it there. You're saying that they voted ahead of time. Didn't so I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to watch me. it. I'm going to watch it come about. Okay. But when you find grief in the community, please know stuff like this is why we can start. Stuff like this. We cannot get it through, your, through, through to understand. This is not a good location for this sponger. This sponger should have a little more representation on on Duncanese's. If you're gonna move the if you're gonna move the right, dolphin, Katie, put it we, up front. Yeah, we you, tried and you don't want to move worked. a tree. I Thank you, Joan. I want you to know one, one, just to remember. I don't think it's. We've got two sculptors here, which is a rather unique thing, and um, and a lot of history, and um, we're actually going to show a lot of that. There's a lot of interesting little intricacies, and a lot is going to happen at Union Academy, too. So right. I really, you know. Um, yeah. yeah, I just don't want to keep. At the back of the parking lot. I, I just don't want. I just don't want to keep beating this up because we. It, it's been beating. It's been beating up for the last mm -hmm. three or four months. It's come before us. It's come before the board of commissioners. Has it come it before was, the community? Has it come before the community? It's been in front of the community for happened? years. I go to the church every day. I haven't heard nothing about this. We haven't had no announcements from the city telling us anything about a, a, a Bahamian sponger. None. It's only two well, I, uh, all, of this, all of this. All of this stuff is, like you said, it's been all. It's been in the minutes. It's been in. It's been in process. We're it's recorded. Been in committee. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm done. It's like okay. it's not going anywhere. It sounds like okay. you made up your mind that this is going to go in the back of that parking lot, and that's it. So yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, any staff comments? Sure. Announcements. Um, can I just add just something to this? Um, sure. I agree with you. I think it's a unfortunate place for it to be. I've, I've uh, uh, mentioned this before. Uh, I don't know whether it's in the minutes or what, that I don't think it should be in the back of a parking lot. Uh, however, 
uh, other other solutions seem to not have come forward. You know, come forth. Uh, you know, one one possible thing was right across from the 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 other sponge diver in front of the sponge exchange, but um, you know, and and I thought uh, originally that the <coughs> sculpture was going to be between the two trees, right by the trolley stop, but that didn't seem to work either, um, and uh, uh, Stephen seems to to be happy with this. I mean. Uh, in front of where those planners are. Yes, he showed us where the planners are. Mm -hmm. Can you get your input on that, yeah, on that part? Yeah, yeah. Like I was trying to say a minute ago, the issue there is, uh, as along with other sites, when I had to do some analysis, not sure where, not knowing when, if there was going to be approval, the final turn is I had to change the sizing of it a little bit and that. And the other thing was, and I had to find out actually, I had to engage or be engaged by more people in the community. So, the, the, and again, there's a whole analysis going over there. There's no guarantee that the issues over pedestrian traffic, they may remove more things from the street. Um, you know, there was the notion of aesthetics in the history, which I, I understood that. I had another reason why, okay, to cross, from, if anything, not on the sponge docks and stuff. There was a lot of thought thinking that, that, that went through there. And, uh, you know, that's just not, um, again, to reiterate my pet point, when I stepped back, I said, you know, I can create something really nice. And then all that other information led me to the idea of, 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 of a possible other component, which is not even within the scope of my art project that could be the purview of prehistoric organizations that could pull it together. Okay, Stephen, I hate to interrupt you, but, you know, there's, know. there's, there's a term in law, it's asked and answered. Mm -hmm. This is something that's been going on, as I said, for months. Mm -hmm. the, uh, this project was going forward. You had a design, you had a contract, everything was agreed upon. It came before the Board of Commissioners. One commissioner expect, expressed some doubt about the location, and we were off to the races. So... You know, we could, we could uh, you know, hammer this out until the cows come home. But if you want to finish that project, it's, we're just going to have to go along with it the way it is. So this was broached to you last month. And, you know. I'm not expressing doubts about the direction I'm going. Um, I'm just saying, uh, being forced to provide the conclusions. I'm. I was withholding conclusions because I thought it was too much for people to absorb. But I'm, I'm not straying from the contract. That's what I'm doing. You know? Okay. So, so you. that's that's yeah. the bottom line here. And uh, Graham? Okay. okay so one other question. I want to make sure that you, that before I go back to the commissioners, that you're saying the commissioners is the one that decided on the location. Is that what you're saying? They approved the location. Okay. So that's what I'm going to Okay. Graham? Yeah. Um, first of all, we have a, a contract, and we have um, two fixed locations for the two pieces. Um, they're going in there, and as soon as possible, please. Um, I understand that it takes time to do these things. Um, I agree. I'm, I'm glad you're taking the time to do them properly and, and that it's going to be you know, a wonderful piece when it's finished. Um, the, the time when I had reservations about the exact locations of things, that's past. It's gone. It's history. I love the idea that I can see the water through the middle of this, this piece. I think that's absolutely great. I really, really want you to come up with a proposal for the piece in front of the um, tourist information place with the, you know, with the diver on it, the way you have it um, drawn out here, the, way, the picture that you gave us. And, um, and to use that as a wayfinding piece to, 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 to focus on, on this other piece that's going to be behind, well, not behind it, but to the side of it and, and slightly further away. And also, um, hopefully, to lead people off to uh, the, the um, Union Academy District. Um, but I really, really want to see that proposal as soon oh, yeah. as possible. We can turn as, mu as, much, as much as I want the other piece done, mm -hmm. I don't want I can it. I turn around quickly and do it because yeah. I've been in the weeds, mm -hmm. like literally ordering hardware and 
yes. Yeah, I don't want you to stop doing what you're doing to, to do this other thing, but I do want you to do that other thing. You know, you, you can sleep next year. <laughs> okay, I'm going to adjourn. It's 3.54 p.m., and our next regular meeting is Wednesday, July 12th at 2 p.m. Uh, I've been given to believe that uh, I know that Beeb is going to be in Greece. I think Robert's having some surgery. No, I'll be here next, uh, next You'll be month. here? Okay. I've been pushed back a month. You know oh, all right, fine. Back. Okay, because I was worried about having a quorum, but uh, it looks like we're okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I won't be here in August. You, okay, thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.